All I know is how you know that the world used to be way less soft is that the Black Eyed Peas, not even a decade ago, had a hit song called Retarded. <laughs> it's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Ooh, she's packed today, but we're pulling up. It is dinner time, though. It's five o'clock. Shout out dinner time, though, right? I feel like I never eat at actually dinner time. I always do all my videos like uh, uh, a little 7, 8 p.m. -er. 8, 7, 8 p.m. -er. You know, I don't, why not? It's probably too late to be eating, but. Hello, uh, can I get a double Big Mac, just the sandwich? Double Big Mac, just the sandwich, okay. Can I get extra lettuce and sauce on it, please? Extra lettuce on this? Yes, please. And then can I get um, 10 nuggets, just the nuggets, with sweet and sour and barbecue? Sweet and sour and barbecue. Yeah, and then a junior chicken add tomato. And a bottle of water. That'll be it. That's what's up. Now you know. Now you know. Macadocious, I'm back and focused. Uh-oh. Nah, let's do it right here. Let's just do it right friggin' here. All right, yeller, welcome to the truck. We got it. The exact crave that I wanted, a double Big Mac with some extra supplies on side, 10 nuggets, just the nuggies, and a junior chicken, add tomato. I'm gonna eat them one by one by one. No dibbing and dabbing in between, you know what I mean? And uh, first up is the double Big Man. I haven't had a double Big Man in a while and I'm very excited for it. She's looking crazy. She's gonna drip lettuce all over, but I'm here for it. Okay, yo, they were not playing with, they gave me a whole garden salad in this bitch. That's crazy. But yo, double Big Mac. I'm starving right now and I'm so ready just to eat. Maybe have a few little chats, but I'm, I'm so ready for this. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Just ready for pure savagery. Truly ridiculously hungry. Mm. It's so good and fresh because it's it's dinner rush right now. The uh, line is stacked. It was when I got here, and still is. This thing don't stand a chance right now. Can you believe the Black Eyed Peas had that song? <laughs> That's wild. Considering where the world is now. Pretty insane. If you can see my pants right now. <laughs> You'd be like, the fuck? It's been a long day. Let's just say that. Cheers to the shittiest water on earth, Dasani. Ah. 
All right, now that we got that situation handled and tucked away, I just needed a crowd. <laughs> we could chill out a little bit here now. I'm intrigued. I have a question. I know that in America, you guys have chick, uh, McChickens. And from what I can tell, they come in a wrapper like this. In Canada, this is our junior chicken. So this is like a dollar menu, like budget burger. Um, so I think it's like a dollar, th maybe 69 maybe. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is your McChicken in the States. And I've just always been intrigued to find that out because we've always had the McChicken, which is like almost, you know, it's been a staple in Canada forever. And it's like, a, it's like a bigger, slightly bigger chicken burger. This one, however, is like this type of little crispier patty. I add tomato because it's just way better that way. And uh, these are these are when you're McBroke. They're a mix staple when you're McBroke. They first came out when I was in high school. And they were kind of a godsend, honestly, when I was young and broke. They're very delicious. And uh, you get three of these for like, I don't know, you know, five under, five, under six bucks. Call it a delicious lunch. But you have to add tomato. Nope. absolute requirement let me know that down below are these do your McChickens in America are these them I feel as if they are my spidey sense is tingling My inner Sherlock is on alert in this chicken, McChicken scenario. Now I know some of y'all are gonna roast me for not getting fries. Here's the thing. You try eating fries in a truck in front of a camera, it's all scrambly and when you're doing <clears throat> truck videos, car videos, you need whole items like larger items uh it's just the uh the spindly fries we'll call them they just spindle around they get cold mad quick and they're just kind of more of a a nuisance than anything so you replace them with something better a chicken nugget because you can't go wrong with a glistening golden Chicken nugget dipped in sweet and sour, and that's another thing some of you mfers get at me about. But sir, why don't you eat the nugget in a whole bite? I'll tell you why. I like to a savor the flavor. And B, these shits are expensive. <laughs> I gotta make them last. Enjoy each bite. These are basically a buck a nugget. If you get a 10 piece, it's like, I'm pretty much, it's, it's 10 bucks. Nine bucks. Where you save the real money is if you get a 20 piece, then it's Twelve fifty. So twenty pieces where it's out. One hundred percent. I've never been known. Who just deep throats a hole?
I prefer a two biter, half and half. Then switch up to the BBQ with the Italian boot. And you're living it. It's called a dream. On a serious note, just a quick, uh, I put it on my community tab, but heartfelt shout out. Stay strong to, to Texas, yo. I heard what was going on down there. I didn't know the severity of it. I was watching TikToks. People's houses are just literally falling apart. No power, no heat, no nothing. Water pouring through the entire house. Entire kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, ceilings falling out. All their electri electrical ruined. Plumbing ruined, structure ruined, water damage, everything, you name it. And uh, it's just people just crying and just helpless against it. And it's fucking, that's how, that, to me, I would be on my knees, like just so defeated. And that's just so unfortunate. And uh, just, yeah, man, that sucks. And it's like, we live, I live in the cold, I live in the snow, but like our houses are built for it. So, to the people who are from the cold and are like poking fun at Texans, like shut the fuck up. Howard, like, that's so, what are you even doing? Like, oh, can't handle a little cold. It's like, no, <laughs> that's like a global, like, incident, like a weather incident that's like an anomalous instant incident that a place like Texas that gets like 120 in the summer isn't ever going to really consider in their, you know, infrastructure or structuring of their buildings. So how do you even anticipate that? You can't. And then you're going to rub your nose in, like you rub their nose in it when they're like suffering. Some people are dying. And people's lives are legitimately fucking ruined. Now house insurance, I guess they might, but... There's going to be people struggling with that for who knows how long. And on top of the year we've already had, well, 2020, now it's 2021, but pandemic bullshit, everybody, people are just going broke and shit. Now that happens to these people, it's like, come on, man. You got to, you got to pull out your humility on that one. You can't be shoving these people's faces in the shit that they're already in. You were down there. <laughs> You'd be uh, acting just the same. So pull your head out of your ass if you're being a dink. Anyways, uh, that was it. Oh, I feel you could see my, like, I'm just like the, 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 the food therapy came over me just like I, I've hit the place where I'm like so happily full because I was like legitimately so starving and craving that big time so anyways so anyways what was that anywho thank you for joining me on my random mix smash here that I had to have maybe a couple words of little wisdom there and uh, once again my uh, thoughts go out to people in Texas hang in there stay uh, stay as sane and safe as you possibly can and you know it is what it is i guess but till the next one 
You know what to do. Eat good, live well. I stay true.